Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Rena, and in today's Boxes and Deals, I have two winter FabFitFun boxes. This is a mother versus daughter FabFitFun, only my daughter didn't want to be in the video, but I, we wanted to go ahead and show you a comparison of com two completely different choices. Of course, there's a lot more choices than what are in these two boxes, but we wanted to show you two variations. So what comes in both boxes, all boxes, all seasons, there will be always a catalog and they used to tell you what all the choices were inside the box, but they stopped doing that, sadly. I'm kind of disappointed that they did that, but um, they also include an editor's note, what's in your box and you can um, scan the code to learn more about the products in your box refill options, flash sale, calendar, articles, recipes, self-care routines, exclusive offers from different brands, all kinds of stuff, just not what's in the box and about the products in the box. That I'm, again, I'm really disappointed about that because that's the most, that's the biggest thing I used the magazine for is, the information about the products and a kind of a recap and remembering what the other options were because I'm not going to remember. I might include photos. I don't know. Anyway, then they always include a, a sheet of stickers for the season. My daughter likes those, my younger daughter. They always include coupons of some kind. This one's for HelloFresh, Nourish by Nature Made. Um, HBO Max, wine, so different coupons. All right, so that's what's included in every box. All right, so for category one, in my box, I chose to do a mystery. Now, something new they're doing starting with the winter box. I don't know if they're going to continue this with each box. It might depend on how well it went over, but they did something different. So it used to be that if you didn't care which choice you, which item you got out of that category, you could put surprise me and they would just choose a random one of those for you. Now they've done it a little bit differently. So now it's called mystery. So instead of surprising you with one of those items in that category, they will surprise you with either one of those items or an item from a past box or an item that they haven't even, uh, that's not in either one, past box or the current box. So it could be a completely new product, it could even be more value or about the same. So for, I thought I would do that. Honestly, this is my honest opinion. The winter box is not my favorite of the FabFitFun, of all the FabFitFun boxes that I've received over the past two years. This is probably my least favorite that they've done. Um, I just wasn't that excited about the choices. Now, you're going to get, this is a subscription box. Everybody's going to get uh, one or two of those that pop up sometime because they can't please everybody. Everybody's different, everybody has different things that they like more than others. So this box just didn't call out to me so much. Um, the summer box and the fall box, I loved so much that I ordered extras of them um, because I just thought they were amazing. Whereas other people didn't like them at all. So, and then other people loved the winter box and couldn't decide which products they wanted more. So um, none of the co category one choices were all that exciting to me, but they were also, none of them were ones that I hated per se. They were all pretty equal. Like they were nice. They just weren't, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. Now the unhide blanket is one of the options in category one. And I love the unhide blanket as it's the softest. We have tons of blankets in our house and that's the softest ones that we have, but I have four of them. <laughs> so I don't need another one. Um, that's one in each bedroom plus one in the living room already. So <laughs> I wouldn't, so I, um, out of those choices, I do like the unhide blanket. I just don't need another one. The other options I liked, I just, I couldn't really choose because they were all pretty equal to me. None of them were, um, 
more exciting than the others. So I decided to try the mystery because if I got one of those items, I wouldn't mind. So I wanted to try that for category one and also for category six because I didn't really care for any of category six. And I thought, again, if I get any of those, none of them are gonna be um, more or less exciting than the rest. So category one, my mystery, I had to go and look it up because I wasn't sure. I was a little confused on my box because I forgot about the mystery. But I got one of those choices um, from category one. This was the electric wine opener. Now, I do really, really like my wine opener. It is not electric, but it is a rabbit and I have um, arthritic hands and this one does not hurt my hands and it's super easy to open wine bottles. So I don't really need another wine opener, but it's electric. So I thought this would either make a nice gift or it'd be worth trying out. And I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. I won't take it out of the plastic in case I do make it a gift. That's what it looks like. And then it does come with batteries. So apparently I'm guessing it takes all four of these. And it is by Mark and Graham. And it is stainless steel. Oh, it has a foil cutter too. That's nifty. So you can cut the foil around the bottle. That's cool. But that was the mystery, so it was one of the actual um, choices in category one. My daughter chose the tote. So it comes wrapped in plastic. This is a pretty color, too. Kind of a mauve rose pink color. And it's kind of that canvasy material. So there it is up close. And it does have a zipper, which is nice. I like totes with a zipper. That is the zipper. And that's the inside. It does have the two slide pockets here. And that's all the pockets it has, inside and out. <laughs> I like totes with lots of pockets, but Again, this is for my daughter. She might really like this. I know she'll love the color. And I don't think she has any of this size, so that's nice. It looks like it can be nice and wide. And it's by Herschel. And as always, I'll put the retail value and how much we paid, of course, each box separately because the total retail value for each box is going to be completely different. So how much I paid for each item out of my box, how much she paid for each item out of her box, um, based on the total retail value and the value of each item. Category number two, I chose the oil, um, olive oil bottle by The Bright Angle. because I need one. I've been refilling. I get the olive, olive oil and avocado oil. I use both. The avocado oil is even better for high heat cooking. But I've been refilling my regular size bottles with the Costco size bottle. So it'll be nice to have a... Um... So it's a white ceramic. And here is the spout. I like it. I'm happy with that. So that was category number two for me. Kimberly chose a set of candles. The box looks like this. There are three candles in it. Probably votive size, I don't remember. Oh, yes, definitely votives. <laughs> they smell good though. 
but they are tiny. It says, your best friend be like, I'm not coming unless there's wine. Ooh. Candle, Candier, I'm assuming that's the brand. Candier.com. And this one, let's see if it has the scent notes. Cozy up with this cheeky twist on the classic winter pine scent. Notes of woody snow covered fir trees, cedar wood, crisp eucalyptus, sweet patchouli, and tonka bean. It is a nice little twist. Then we have your best friend be like, let it flow, let it flow, pinyo. I feel like the scents are kind of mixing together unless they all have vanilla in them. Um, this one is warm cinnamon with fresh fruit and berries and woody base notes. Tis the season for drinking copious amounts of booze because hashtag holiday spirit. And then we have your best friend be like, how about missile nope? Okay, that's what is permeating into the other two candles because I smell chocolate mint. Um, kisses under the mistletoe, Feliz Na and Good. <laughs> um, notes of warm chocolate, yes, cool peppermint and vanilla. And that's what's permeating into the other candles, so it kind of smelled funky. You can kind of smell the undertones, but Yes, that chocolate kind of permeated it into those other ones. Those are nice. Not my favorite of candles, but they're cute. They're little votives, great for a bedroom. Um, she will love them. So that was category, that was category two. Um, it just doesn't seem like a high value for tiny candles like that, but. I don't know what the value was supposed to be. I'll have to look. All right, category three, I chose because I've previously gotten the Mason Top water bottle and absolutely love it. And it came with a neoprene sleeve and the drinking lid. And this one is also a Mason Top jar with, oh, this is the um, sh cocktail shaker. So it has a different lid, but I can interchange them both. So I can use the jar for both. I can use the, interchange the lids. And so it has the strainer, your shot glass, if you want to use that as a shot glass. <laughs> and this is more of a rubberized sleeve instead of the neoprene sleeve, which is on the whole thing. Now I will say we have tile floors and my last jar actually shattered through the neoprene sleeve. I had the sleeve on it and it still shattered, but I saved the sleeve and the lid and I actually was able to um, add on another jar. So now I have two sleeves plus this, two lids plus this, so, and two jars. And then it also comes with the stir spoon. So for your olives and garnished. All right, so I like that. I was very pleased with that option. And then for Kim's box, she chose the Michael Kors beanie. And it feels like your typical sweater material with a pom-pom. Be nice and warm. She does a lot of driving for work, so this will be nice for the winter because it does get cold here. Very cute. I know she'll be happy with that. All right, for choice number four, I chose the Way of Will Slim Deep Toning Oil. I thought it sounded interesting. It's a body oil. Um, tightening with cypress and clary sage, toning with grapefruit and juniper berry. Sounds amazing. 
so it comes in a plastic bottle, but at least it's dark. You want dark bottles for essential oils. Oh, let me keep those on. Apply to clean skin after shower when skin is damp. Let me see if I can, it is sealed. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I will use it. Mm, yes, it is citrusy with, um, mostly the citrus comes out. I think I can smell a hint of the juniper berry. Is there juniper? Yeah. I don't really smell much of the cypress, but it smells good. That'll be nice. All right, so that was my choice. Kim chose this. Um, I received this in a pass box, and this was probably still one of my favorite face cleansers that I've ever used. So, and we usually share most of our face cleansers, and this is a huge bottle that lasts forever. So, I was very happy that she chose this, so that's why I chose the body oil. But this is Superfood uh, and Probiotics Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser by Tula. An amazing face cleanser. It really clarifies and clears and cleans your skin. Um, and it is purifying. It's gel based, removes dirt, impurities, and makeup without stripping or over drying. It's got prebiotics and probiotic extracts and turmeric to leave skin purified, soft, and balanced. Excellent choice. So we're both happy with number four. Number five, I believe we chose the same thing. Let me double check. Oh my. Mine fell out of the box and <laughs> looks like it became crushed. But a lot of these type of tubes do end up looking like that. It's not that they were used or anything. It is still sealed. But I believe we chose the same thing. Yes, we did. So the Grown Alchemist. And this is their body cream. And it's mandarin rosemary leaf. And it does have the puncture in the cap. So I'll go ahead and do that so we can see what it smells like. That's a great one for just put it on before bed. But also mandarin is great for a pick me up. Rosemary leaf is good for soothing. This says deeply hydrating with bioactive ingredients that noticeably nourish, moisturize, and soothe dry skin and visibly restore skin's el elasticity and suppleness. And rosemary is healing. Both of them are healing, but rosemary, especially if you have dry um, skin or eczema, it would be soothing for that. So we both chose that, both happy with that. Number six was, for me, a mystery. I'm a little confused because there's three items, well, four items, left. And I can't imagine that they'd all be from category six. But I know this was part of a bundle from category six, but the other items were not. But I'll show you what all I got here, what all is left in the box. So I got the chocolate bomb maker, hot chocolate bomb. But of course, and these are silicone, you can use them for hot chocolate bombs. Um, there's a lot of other things you can make cupcakes with. Um, actually, I don't know if you can bake them. Are they oven safe? Yes, up to 446 degrees. So they might have more ideas. And they are dishwasher safe, that's nice. So I got that. I got this pack of slippers, which are adorable. And then I got more, <laughs> like a whole bag of more. Like usually this bundle right here by itself would be one item for category six. So I don't know. But I got the IGK Beach Club Bouncy Blowout Cream, 450 degree heat protection. Now I don't blow dry my hair usually, but sometimes I will straighten it, so it could be used for that as well. 
but it's for full body and style memory, especially if you have a dull, lifeless looking hair with a plan to blow dry and you want bouncy movement, shiny, healthy looking hair and long lasting style. So there's that. There's two packs of Inv Invisibobbles, pink and clear. I like those pink ones, those are cute. Those are handy to keep on your wrist and be able to just whip your hair up real quick. And then we got, I believe this is a jewelry case and I think I might know who this will go to. It's by Summer and Rose. And it is beautiful, burgundy. And it's a travel jewelry case. Oh, that is nice. I have one, but it's not as nice as this one. So you can put earrings here, um, maybe rings here. These are the slide out like that. There's a pocket, a mirror. Very nice. So those were the four things that were left in my box. So I don't know if these were all one. So this is the slippers, the Invisibobble and IGK, the jewelry case, and the hot cocoa bombs. I think these ones were a bundle from a past box, if I remember right, but I'm not sure. This was part of a bundle from this month's box, but the rest of these weren't. These, I'm not sure. I feel like I've seen them in a past box and definitely in the add-ons, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little confused on that. And then for Kim, she chose for number six, the Billion Dollar Brows Pro Brush Essentials Kit. And it comes with five brushes, I believe. Six brushes. I don't want to take them all. Uh, let's go ahead. She won't mind. All right. So we've got a powder brush, a foundation brush, a contour brush. Of course, you can use the brushes however you would like. These are just suggestions. An eyebrow brush. An eyeshadow brush. More kind of a flat. This would be a good concealer brush as well. A good crease brush. And another uh, highlighter brush. <laughs> I would use that as a blending brush for your eyeshadow. So those six brushes, and those are nice, sleek gold and black with kind of a square. Um, a flat bottom. They are bamboo charcoal infused bristles, no artificial dyes vegan and cruelty free all right and then also in her box she got i love these liquid iv and there are three samples does it say the flavors oh interesting okay so i'll go ahead and open it she won't drink these anyway i got one time in one of my boxes i got a pack they must just do this in random boxes because i didn't get one in my box but um, in the box, in one of my boxes, past boxes, I got a sample and it included three different flavors of the hydration multiplier. This one includes one hydration multiplier. In the flavor strawberry. That one is good. We have, um, we buy them at Costco usually. And then energy multiplier 
in I think all of the energy ones unless they've come out with new flavors but they're um, the only flavor I've seen of the energy one is lemon ginger but I've heard that it works really well um, and it's better it's a good substitute for coffee it makes you feel more actually refreshed rather than a um, caffeine boost and the jitters and um, adrenaline it's more of a I just got a really good night's sleep and I feel refreshed and ready to go kind of feel. And then this one is an immune support in the flavor tangerine. Again, I don't know if they have other flavors for the immune support either, but that one I think has extra vitamins for immunity. That's handy. We drink those, so that was a nice... They're um, usually, the cheapest I've seen them is about a dollar a pack, but they're usually quite a bit more than that, especially for the energy and immune. Those ones are more expensive than just the hydration one. We just get the hydration ones though. All right, so what did you think? Um, quick recap, so in, and I'll include pictures as well. My box for, my box I received for my mystery, I got the electric wine opener, the olive oil bottle. I'm very excited about that. Mason cocktail shaker. I like that. The Way of Will body serum, toning serum. I'm excited to try that. I'll have to let you know. Oh yeah, and this came with the shaker. The Grown Alchemist body cream. Also excited to try, in fact. The two of them I can use together. The mystery pack, which is a mystery still, <laughs> but we got Hot Cocoa Bombs Maker, the Invisible Bubble, the IGK Blowout, the Summer and Rose Jewelry Case, and the Slippers. So that was my box. A recap for Kim's box was the Herschel tote, the candle set, the beanie, the Michael Kors beanie, the Tula cleanser, probably my favorite of her bundle, <laughs> the way or the Grown Alchemist body cream also, and the Billion Dollars brush set. What was your favorite of the two boxes? Would you have chosen either of these? Or would you kind of mix and match? Was there some favorites out of mine and some favorites out of Kim's? Have you ever tried Liquid IV? Did you get a FabFitFun winter box? Or are you interested? It might still be available. I do have, I'll have to check if I have any free boxes available. And what that is, is a free starter box that you would let me know that you're interested in and then I would sign I would um, send your email through FabFitFun and they would send you the offer and you would receive a $75 bo starter box is just free um, mystery items possibly from past boxes that is a worth uh, at least $75 you would just pay shipping at this point, I'm not sure what the shipping would be. I think about $5, at least that's what it used to be. With shipping prices going up, it may be a couple dollars more, I'm not sure. But you would just pay the shipping. And then you can, I think you have 30 days to decide whether to go ahead and sign up or to cancel. Um, they will automatically sign you up though if you don't do anything. So you'll want to be sure to either cancel or go ahead and let them sign up within that 30 days. And if you want more information about that, let me know in the comments or you can email or uh, message me on Instagram. All of that information is below as well. Plus I do have, if you are interested in just getting, going ahead and subscribing to the box, I do have a code that you can get a discount. All right, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Happy holidays.